Hi guys, today we're going to install the Fitcam X 4K dash cam in the 2020 Toyota Corolla. Uh, I'll show you what comes inside the box. First of all, I want to point out that this camera is already in, is integrated into this plastic cover, which goes in place of the OEM cover on the windshield. Camera only has one wire, which will be connected to the existing connector inside the vehicle. This way you avoid running the wires all the, all the way through the vehicle, through the A-pillar. Uh, this is a T-splitter. One end will get connected to the uh, power inside that box, which we'll show you shortly. This end gets connected to the camera, to this wire. Uh, the camera is quite straightforward device. It has only two buttons, the power button and the take picture button. And camera already comes with the SD card in the set. The size is 64 gigabytes. Uh, besides that, in the set we have uh, actually have this plastic cover, the second piece, which goes right here. Gets inserted first like that, and then you push it in. Uh, to remove it, I'll show you how it works. You will need to use a small screwdriver, or you can try using your hand as well. Um, what you need to do is to use the screwdriver to push this small one inside, and you have to push the cover at the same time, this way it will come out. And same right here. And this is a way to remove the OEM one as well. So we have this cover, we have a trim removal tool, we have the SD card reader, and we have the manual. Right now we'll show you how to remove the original cover. You will need to push the box down like that, and as you can see it immediately comes off. Now we need to remove this small uh, section from the cover. As you can see this can be done with just using your hands. One more time we'll show you how it works. This is the OEM cover. And this one is actually slightly easier to remove. Now we will need to remove these two red retainers and transfer them to the new uh, cover. Right now we'll have to disconnect the connector that goes to the front uh, safety camera, this way. And now the T-splitter, which we showed you earlier, will get uh, connected instead. So one end gets connected to this connector. And uh, the other end, the OEM cable, will get connected to the T-splitter. And this is where the camera gets connected to the T-splitter. Now we need to reinstall or install the new box with Fitcam X.
the wires can be easily hidden inside the cover. And our installation is pretty much done. And this is how the camera looks like from the front. Here we have some of the features that this camera has. It has Wi-Fi connection, uh, loop recording, G-sensor, super wide angle, perfect fit, high dynamic range. Uh, right now we'll actually connect it to the app, but first we need to start the vehicle. Let's do that. And as you can see, we have blue lights on the camera. This means that it is working right now. The application is called FeedCam X. Uh, what you'll need to do when you do it the first time, first you have to go to the settings and uh, you will need to find uh, Wi-Fi networks. So currently it's already connected to this dash cam, but when you do it the first time, this is uh, something like that, that is something you're looking for. Car, uh, dash, W, A, etc. The numbers will be different. So once it's connected, uh, you can go back to the application and press connect right here. In the application right away you will see the preview of what camera records. You can switch the view like this. And um, this small icon here will actually switch the view between front and rear camera but only if you have uh, the ca rear camera in the set, uh, Fitcam Max uh, sell those as well. In our case, it's only the front camera. Um, so what else do we have here? We can uh, go, I'll go to settings right now, press camera settings, uh, sound recording, I will turn it on. We have photo resolution, different options. We have, as I said, uh, 4K resolution for the video recording. Currently it's set to 2K, 2560 by 1440, but I will set it to 4K, 3840 by 2160. Loop recording option, um, only one minute. This is how long your files are going to be. Uh, exposure compensation, you can change that if you want. WDR is on by default. Uh, video watermark, you can turn it off. Uh, also, this uh, app has some settings for the parking mode, but the camera itself doesn't have the parking mode. To have the parking mode, you will actually have to connect the hardwiring cable and connect it to the fuse box, for example. Uh, but in this case, since it's connected to the connector, on the windshield it doesn't have it if you want i believe you can get a separate cable from uh, feed cam x um, what else wi-fi name that's i showed you that before the password wi-fi password is uh, one two three four five six seven eight when you do it the first time it shows you the firmware version and uh, from here you can format SD card. You can also reset the camera uh, settings. So uh, camera file, here we have all recorded videos so far. Yeah, you can see all of them right here. You can either download it to your phone, you can delete videos that you don't want. And as I showed you before, you can also take out the SD card and take it with you, which in my opinion is uh, the most convenient option. So I guess that's pretty much it for settings. As you can see, the camera is installed in the middle of the windshield. This way you'll get a perfectly centered video. And also it is out of the driver's view, which I think is a great idea to install the camera this way. I wish uh, Toyota would have done an OEM version of this, but uh, so far we have this product, which is great in my opinion. Right now we'll go for a short drive and we'll show you day and night footage.